Hi everyone, Danny Dodge here. I'm gonna show you today how to make a light dimmer very quickly so that you can use it on multiple lights. It's really cool. So first off, we start off with our cable. We gotta get a power cable with the actual third uh, ground, cable port there, or whatever you call it. Then we have a rheostat. You get these all at your hardware store. Then I have an electrical box that I bought for a buck and a half or somewhere thereabouts. And then lastly, this is just a multi outlet adapter that I'm gonna put on there so that I can actually plug in a lot of lights and dim them all at the same time. So let's get at it. First things first, I'm gonna take my cable and we will cut the end of this. Actually, we're gonna cut it up at the part closest to the wall. We'll give it a little room there. I'm gonna actually take this, cut it. There you go, you can see. All you gotta do is snap that baby there. I'm gonna hang this one here so we can work with that one. Now, I'm going to actually cut this and get the sleeve off of that part so I can expose some of the wires. There we go, and I don't press too hard, just enough to get that to where it cuts all the way through that sleeve. Pull that off, and we'll do the same thing to this one right here. And you're gonna to wanna to have a little extra cable coming out of there, for so probably about an inch and a half to two inches worth. Get that off there. Close my knife up. Now we've exposed the ends here, and what I'd like to do at this point is take that with a specialized tool, take and strip those so we can expose the wires. So we got the green here, expose that one, the white one, and boy, I tell you, it helps if you got glasses on for a guy like me. Then to the black one, and you wanna have all of these exposed about the same amount. All right, now our next one, finish that off. So I'll speed up the video here. All right, we've got all the wires exposed. Now what we're gonna do is open up our rheostat. And to do this, it takes a genius, but I'm gonna do it fast with a little knife. So be careful when you use these knives. All right, next, what we're gonna do is connect up the wires. Pull the little tabs off these wires so that they're ready to connect up. So we've got our wires exposed on all three things and uh, now we're ready to go to the next stage. What I'm gonna do is drill a hole, actually two holes in our blue box so that we can provide a hole for both of the cables to go out. This is dangerous. Don't try this at home. Okay, one hole down. And I suggest actually putting this in a, uh, some kind of a vise or jig, not a hand like I'm doing. What you wanna do is make sure there's no sharp edges on there because that could cut you and that's not a good thing. All right. And the way I clean up at home, beautiful. All right, now we've got our box. We're gonna thread the wires in there individually thread those guys in. So we'll just kind of wrap all three wires here together and run it inside like that. Pull it out and have enough to work with. There we go. Take the other one, tie it up as well, wrap it up as well. Get the way those uh, cords are all together. And run it inside and pull out extra cable as you need it. All right, we have both of our cables out here. Now it's time to wire them together to the rheostat. First thing we're gonna do is wire all the greens together. That way we know the green will not be used later on any of this. So grab all your greens, including the rheostat green. There we go. And put them together and give it a little twist. There we go. Now I've got these little orange things. And what they do is they cover that wire and hold them together. So we'll twist that on there as well. And they get hard and they're done. Now, what we're gonna do is connect up one from the rheostat, one black cable to one of the black cables on the cable. Like that. Put a little green dilly bobber here. All right, green orange. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, next we're going to take the other black wires, one from the rheostat and one from the other cable, and wrap those together as well. All right, and lastly, you have two white wires 
those have to go together and then you're pretty much done. Now make sure that when you do this, you have one more of these guys that you can use. I forgot, I've gotta go get one. All right, now I went out and bought a very, very fancy little cap. I don't even know what you call these because I'm a redneck and I just use them. We'll twist that one on. All right, and there we have it. These guys are ready to push back in the, in the box. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to work these cables back in, sucking that rheostat back into the box. So I'm pulling the cables out, sucking the rheostat in. There you have it. It's all there. All I have to do is screw it in place and we'll be good. And of course, I'm a very lazy human, so I will use my handy dandy drill. Let's see if I can do this. I tried it one other year, one other time. So, all right, folks, and the last thing to do is take these nails out right here, get them out, and just yank them out because you won't need that. Neither will you need the glasses that I just knocked off the table. So, there you have it your real stat. You plug this into the wall, this one into your multi adapter, and then Plug the other end into your light, which one, two, three, four, five. Now, one thing you have to make sure of is you don't plug in too much power or too much draw into this. So if you look at uh, this, I think on here, it says it works with 600 watts. That means you can't use any more than 600 watts of light. So if you had, let's say five 60 watt lights, whatever that is, multiply that. And then it says whether well, you can use it or not. If it adds up to 600 or more, it I would watch out. Okay, um, but if it's under 600, perfect. And you got your little light dimmer you can use with all kinds of lights. Now, one other thing to realize that when you turn down your light with your light dimmer, if it is a incandescent light, it's gonna get a little warm. Okay, so the, the more draw down, the darker you get it, the warmer it is. So you'll have to account that into doing your video as well. So that's it, folks. If you enjoyed what you see, click on this little button here that says subscribe. Subscribe to my videos here and you'll see all the new updates I have, all the new tips, tricks, and things I can provide here on YouTube and you'll love it, I'm sure. Okay, except for me. But anyhow, that's it. I'll see you next time on Danny Dodge Live here sharing the knowledge.